markets collapse up to this point, haven't they? Uh, it's a fair point to make. Uh, in many ways, the uh, conservative wing of the Democratic Party has been a lot more rigid in their ideological purity than the liberal wing. And I think that's uh, when, when this is all said and done, there's going to be a lot of reflection among the Progressive Caucus about what exactly went wrong in writing this bill. Um, but yeah, you know, Congressman Kucinich is sticking by his principles. Uh, talking to him backstage, he wants a robust public plan. And uh, nothing uh, short of that, I think, is going to win his vote. And uh, there's going to be a lot of challenges about what this means, whether he now represents sort of the Ralph Nader of health care reform in reference to the 2000 election, or whether what he's doing is principally correct. And he represents, as far as we know, a group of one at this point, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, from my reporting and from that of my colleague Ryan Grimm, it's tough to get a sense of anyone who's joining Congressman Kucinich on this. I talked today with Senator Bernie Sanders, who probably would be his counterpoint in the uh, Senate uh, in terms of the uh, liberal base of the Democratic caucus, and, and, and Senator Sanders is uh, behind this legislation, even though it does not have single payer, which he wanted, even though there's not likely going to be a public plan. Uh, and 